This is not a test. This is not a test. This is not a test. All right, folks, welcome back to Prepper Now. I want to talk to you today about a little bit of a report saying that uh, people should get prepared for some of the worst scenarios that uh, humanity could face ever. And that, of course, is uh, basically war on a global conflict and in modern times, well, there's a potential for a nuclear exchange, which would be very devastating to not just the people on the ground, but also all the other stuff, like uh, the ability to grow food, kick up a bunch of dust in the atmosphere, possibly cause, you know, very nasty changes to our seasons and everything else. Um, You can check all that out and do your due diligence on uh, what that would look like, but uh, let's just say that having at least three months of food will be smart. Now, I personally am am up to about a year, uh, depending, of course, on how many people were to be uh, put into the closed circle of what it would look like or, you know, who would be uh, involved in our preps. So, namely, my five children and uh, probably mother-in-law because she's very close to us. But that could expand to uh, possibly eight to ten people, depending if... uh, cousins and their son were here, or my parents, or who knows, so first and foremost, it's always good to prep for other people, um, I like the comments where people come on and they say, oh, all you guys are just trying to do, you know, clickbait or, or whatever, so let's talk about the titles uh, of these videos, you it's like a business sign, if I have a business and I don't have a sign out there saying, hey, this is what we do, and this is, you know, who we are in kind of a general term, no one's going to go into the business. So the tube likes it when you have open-ended, big generalizations on your your terminology, okay? The other thing is, is that anybody who thinks that I'm coming here just for money alone obviously wasn't with me from 2021 to 2023 where I literally didn't gain more than maybe like a few hundred subscribers and put out videos two, three times a day. So, and I, trust me, I was not making any money then. And I'm, you know, I've, I've broken it down to what it's worth. This is a labor of love. Nobody is getting rich on on the tube unless you're like, you know, Mr. Beast or something like that. And we're definitely not that. And you know what? Hey, good for him. This is a uh, way for me to come and vent and talk to people about all this stuff because, well, I teach world war for a living, literally. I'm a history teacher by trade and I am concerned by what I'm seeing. So when the Finnish guy comes out and is like, hey, uh, you know, you guys wanna, might want to get three days of food. First and foremost, that's just intelligence. I mean, you, you should have that. You should, no matter what's going on, I mean, it could be the most peaceful time ever. You should have that. You know, we, we talk about here FEMS, food, energy, medicine, and security. Now, water is included in food, so food and water, when I, when I reference that, but food and water is first, the reason why, and not in that order, it should be water, so woofems, um, you should have that ability to, to take care of yourself, um, many people are on city water, and 
you know, having certain things. Like, you should get a, uh, a water bob. That's the first prepping item I ever got. What's that prepper now? Well, it's this thing you uh, put into your bathtub. It's about 275 gallons in capacity. And you attach it to the faucet in the bathtub, and it fills up a thing, and it's got this, like, little spout and water thing, so you can get 275 gallons of potable, you know, consumable water, which you're going to want. I mean, to say, you know, a gallon of water a day per person, that's that's dumb. It's going to be realistically a gallon and a half, if not two gallons of water, especially in an SHTF, and I credit Bear Independent for bringing this up one time, it's always kind of stuck with me, uh, if you're out and you're like in an emergency and you're doing something, you're going to be sweating, you're going to be working hard, you're going to be consuming water and you're going to need extra, so that whole gallon thing is like if you're just sedentary, and you will not be sedentary in an SHTF, you'll be on heightened alert having to do stuff, I digress. There's a lot of geopolitical stuff going on right now. We all know this. There's a lot of crap going on in Europe. Ukraine and uh, Russia have um, definitely been, you know, tossing it up. We're coming up on the third year. You know, wars are not convenient. They are not quick. And they're very deadly and they're very destructive. Right now, uh, in the last 24 hours, Israel and Iran have been basically threatening each other, saying we're going to do another exchange, this time bigger and worse, before the election. Which, of course, you know, people in Washington don't want to happen. But honestly, people in Washington uh, don't really matter to these people. Israel is uh, not happy with uh, Washington. Iran could give two hoots. So they're going to do what they do. They're going to start shooting missiles at each other if they want. They say this weekend it could be happening again. And every time it's, it's a little bit more escalatory. You know, so back to the video from a couple days ago. I don't really remember Iran and Israel chucking missiles at each other. So I don't, I don't really chalk that up as into normal. I don't say, hey, you know, oh, that's just one of those things that happens. Because that's not the truth. Um, the truth is that we are in a precarious state right now. And because of that, people need to be putting away food. They need to be putting away energy and medicine and security. They should have... You know, a, uh, a generator. They should have antibiotics. They should have boomsticks and all that seeds those, if you will. That's just intelligence. If you don't have that kind of stuff, you're kind of asking for it. You know, this isn't clickbait. And the reason why is because you wouldn't have major... Uh, government saying this stuff, I mean, I I just don't remember a time in my life where things were this precarious and warlike, and honestly, looking like the conditions that were going on in World War I. So, prepping is, is becoming a lot more enticing to people. It's becoming a lot more, um, I don't want to say normalized, but like accepted. You know, there was this real push to make it so, oh, well, you know, if you're a prepper, then you know, you're crazy or, or, you know, you're just, you're, you're living in fear, yada, yada, yada. Said it many times and I'll say it again. We're here because your ancestors were preppers. I've got kids. I've got a wife, I've got a nice little homestead, and I want to protect all that, 
I don't see any scenario and really anything where the government is going to be able to help me in a way that I'm going to need to fully keep my family in a good way during a long emergency. So I, as a father and a person, you know, just take it upon myself to do that. I mean, what do you think insurance is? All insurance is is just financial prepping. You just pay into it every month, and then, you know, heaven forbid, you get into a car wreck or something, you've got the ability to manage it. That's, that's all prepping is. So we're in a precarious situation, folks. You, you should be putting away food, you know. Yes, this makes people click, but it's not bait. It's really, I really do want people to discuss preparedness. I want people to consider it and invest in it. I mean, I literally have had preps that, you know, we've got like a solar oven. We've got the water bob. We've got uh, a friggin' um, the ventilator thing, the oxygenator. Got that during Rona. We've got a medical suite. Now, I'm lucky. I'm, I'm married to a doctor, so as long as we're not, uh, you know, performing appendectomies or something, you know, we've got the ability to handle most things. Now, I'm not saying you should go out and get what we have, but I think you should put away some food. I think you should, you know, consider what your water situation looks like. Do you have water catchment systems? We do got two rain barrels that can collect, you know, hundreds of gallons. And then we've got water purification systems from there, so we can do that. Do you have animal traps? You know, just, just all kinds of stuff. I mean, we've got chemical suits, that open that comes out, you know, this check, that check. Like, those are real. We, we have them and have had them. Our, my chemical suit's not going anywhere. It doesn't have an expiration date. I bought it I think 2014 got one for everybody sits in a box it's fine so get prepared you know get ready no I don't I personally don't think I'm gonna get nuked but if there is something really to pop off on a global scale and and newsflash it has happened before I want to be able to handle it. I want to be able to handle anything that comes our way from a natural disaster to a man-made disaster. And I'm hoping that you all are considering that as well. And yes, we put up flashy, uh, nebulous titles on here, but that's to hopefully get some people that will click on and go, wow, this guy kind of sounds logical and reasonable and he's not really hyperbolic and he's saying that, you know what, he's a history teacher. He's not really happy with all that's going on. He's concerned. And so he's starting to uh, do things to maybe get prepared. Think about how long that will go. Think about what that will do for our society if everybody just had a little bit of the basics put away so they can handle a long emergency. All right, friends, thanks so much. Thanks for the support. If you like what we're doing here and saying here, talking about the uh, world in general, but also just general prepping, click onto that button, hit the subscribe thing, and uh, leave a comment or a like if you like what we're doing. I'm just happy to be here. There's links in the description for all my other channels, and there are many. And check out the Crisis Report if you want to hear about all the terrible things that are going on in the globe. We put that on nightly about 10.30 over on the backup channel in the link in the description. God bless. Prepper now out.